One of the most challenging aspects of Google Earth Engine for me recently has been managing the size of image collections. Um, remotely sensed images by nature are large, but what if you want to take a lot of that data and clip it down with, say, something like a shapefile? Today, I'm going to show you how to do that. So it's really just a few lines of code. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a variable called table. You can see that I've created a feature collection with a data set that's already loaded into Google Earth Engine. I went and downloaded a Texas County shapefile that then I uploaded to Google Earth Engine so that way it's in here and all I have to do is call it as a feature collection. So that's the first part. The second part is loading in a variable, I'm calling it data set. It's gonna be whatever you want to clip. And so that is our feature collection. I filtered it a little bit just so I could give it a little bit of a better range of what I'm looking for. Then you have your obvious edits that you're changing to your map, to your scale. You wanna zoom in, you wanna show the different filtering that you're going to use for your feature collection or your images. And the next part is you're simply going to create a variable that is your data set clipped by your table, which is my shape file. So now I have this line here on line 11. It's giving me a variable that's based on my data set clipped to my table. And then you just add the layer to your map. I'm loading the one that's called image. Then all you do, load in your map layer with a palette if you want to visualize it any sort of way. I'm using black and white. It's kind of just the standard palette to use. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.